Hello, welcome to Wise Guy. Balancing chemical reaction equation, this is for redox reaction one. Before balancing redox re reaction, what is redox? Redox means reduction and oxidation. So to identify the redox reaction, we need to check we need to check the charge transfer from one atom to another. Okay, if charge transfer from one atom to another, that is redox reaction. Because charge transfer from one atom, so means one atom loses electron and the other element gain electron. So element gain electron we call it is reduced. It is reduced. Element gains electron is reduced, which is oxidize oxidizing aging. An element loses electrons, it's oxidized, but it's reducing aging. That means, for example, if an element gains electron, itself is reduced, but gain electron, where that electron comes from? From the other element, another element, so the other element is loses electron. That's why, because this element is gaining electron, itself is reduced to make another element is loses electron, which is the other element is oxidized. So it's this element is act as low of oxidizing aging. Or we can say element loses electron where this electron go, go to another element, make another element gain electron. That's why it is reducing aging. Good. Let's using this definition to identify the following reaction. The first one is nitrogen gas and the reactor with hydrogen gas produce ammonia. NH3 gas. Before reaction, nitrogen is single element is zero charge, no charge, zero charge. And the hydrogen is zero charge, no charge, become neutral. And after reaction, become compound. And nitrogen is, in this case, you can see because hydrogen is positive one, so nitrogen is negative three. Right? So that's why the charge transfer from the one atom to another. So this is the, the first one is redox reaction. The second one, this is the iron three hydroxide plus sulfuric acid produce iron three sulfate plus water. We can check before reaction the iron is three positive after reaction here, still three positive because sulfate is two negative and in this case sulfate is still two negative. So SO4 sulfate doesn't change and the iron Fe three positive here still three positive. So oxygen doesn't change, hydrogen doesn't change. So there are no charge transfer. So that's why this is not redox reaction. The third one, aluminum before reaction is uh, single, is zero. After reaction become compound with positive three charge. So that's the charge change transfer. And the copper before reaction is in compound which is positive two after reaction is zero. So charge change. So the third one is redox reaction. The last one, also we can say 
temperature check, uh, this is single element is zero after reaction become compound, which is positive charge. So this is also charge has been transferred. So that's why this is also redux reaction. So let's try to balance load time equations. There are five steps to follow. The first assign the oxidation number for each element. Let's do one by one, okay? For example, this one. Assign the oxidation number for each element. So there are nitrogen and hydrogen. Before reaction, zero charge. This is zero charge. After reaction, the nitrogen, hydrogen become compound. Hydrogen always positive one, so this is positive one. And so you have three hydrogen. That's why total three charge is positive. And to balance this formula, the nitrogen is negative three, three negative. So you can see this is the first step, assign the oxidation number for each element. Second, find the oxidized element and the reduced element. So as we know, the nitrogen from zero to three negative, they have more negative. That means that they gain electrons. Right? This situation, they gain electron. Gain how many electron? For each atom, nitrogen, from zero to three negative is gain three electrons. So gain three electrons per atom. And the total, there are two atoms. So total is gain three electrons. Uh, three times two is six electrons. Total gain three electrons. And so gain electron, we call it is reduced. Right? So it is reduced. The nitrogen is reduced. And hydrogen from zero charge to positive one charge. So that means for each hydrogen atom is lose, loses one electron from zero to positive one is lose one electron. One electron per atom. And total, you, we have two atoms. So total is two electrons. Right? This is total is two electrons because each one is loses one electron. Total is loses those two electrons, okay? But we, we can see this one because total lose two electrons, but here are three hydrogen. To figure out the this one, we need, because this is a follow, the total electron lose it, Total electron lose has to be equal to the total electron gain. So that's why we need multiply three for this one. The reason is the total lose electron, for example, is six make six hydrogen, total lose six electron. And then this is the three electron. So if we multiply two for this one, so that's why it make equal because six hydrogen, six hydrogen. So each one is lose one electron. Six hydrogen lose six electron. This is six electron, okay? And after this one, and the count the total number electrons gain and lose. Because lose six electrons after multiply three, this after multiply two, total lose six electrons. That means the other element, nitrogen, would be gain six electrons, right? Gain six electrons. 
because each one is against three, so two is against six. That's why this is two. We multiply two, this is two, already two. Okay, that's why find the LCM to make the total electron gain equal total electron loss. So that's why we find the LCM, which is this is three, this is two, make total is six, total is six. And after this one, we can balance this one. This is a two nitrogen, this is two nitrogen. Okay, so that's why this is a balance. The next example is aluminum reacted with copper two sulfate produce aluminum three sulfate and copper. And this is also as we said before, is redox reaction. So we sign, assign the oxidant number for each element is zero. As long as a single element is zero charge, zero charge. But in this case, the sulfate is negative two. So that's why this is positive two. The total SO4 is two negative. This is two positive. And in this case, aluminum is always three, three positive, and the sulfate is two negative. That's why we can see this one. Three multiplied two is six, two multiplied three is six. Uh, this is the right formula. So then we can see the aluminum from zero charge to positive three charge, they have more positive means they lose more electron. For copper, from positive two to zero, they gain electron because electrons are negative, gain electron more negative. So this one is copper is gain electron, which is reduced in how many electron here? For each copper is two positive becomes zero, is gain two electron for each atom, this is a one atom, one atom, so total is two electron. And for aluminum, the before reaction is zero charge, after reaction is three positive charge, which is lose three electron for each atom. For each atom loses three electrons, but now we need two elements, two atoms, which is one is lose three, total is six. So total six electrons need get They need it. six electron need to be lost, lost, right? So that's why we can see one is we need those six electron to make zero to positive three for two atoms, but this is a total only gain two electrons, this is not balanced. The LCM for six and the two are six. So the LCM is called six. That's why we need to multiply three for this number. So multiply three to this one. Because each one gain two. If three, we gain six. Because loss, 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 uh, loss, loss three, six against six. So that's why we move, multiply three for this one. So each one gain two and three gain six. After you multiply three for this one, and actually then you, the following step is just uh, check each of them. So this is three copper, this is you need to multiply three copper. And after multiply three, SO4 is three, SO4 is three already here. And aluminum is two, 
and we'll take two for the issue. Then can you see aluminum, two aluminum. This is a check for the number of elements is two aluminum after reaction two aluminum. Three copper after reaction three copper. Three SO4 after reaction three SO4. So it's balanced. And so the balanced redux equation we need to consider is not only balance the number of atoms, but also we need balance the number of charges. That's why we need all the steps assign the oxidation number, find the oxidized element, and the reduced element, count the total number of electrons gained and lost. It has to be the same, right? Because the charge never created and uh, never disappeared. And also the number of atoms never created and also never disappeared. This is a photo of the conservation of mass and the conservation of charges. So this is uh, presented by Wise Guys.